Now I get asked all the time about drone laws in specific states, cities, counties. So in this 50 part series, I'm gonna go over every single state and the drone laws that exist in that state. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and let's get into it. Oh, also this is not legal advice. Now either you live in or plan on visiting California, where I live, and you wanna fly your drone. Here are the rules you must abide by. Now there is quite a few drone laws, so buckle up. Now there's three different parts to this. There's the federal laws, the state laws, and the city laws. Now if you're flying just for fun, a la not for cash or check, doesn't matter. Here are the rules you must abide by. Now if you are flying commercially, skip to this time code. Now first, you must register your drone before flight to the FAA Drone Zone website. I'll link it below. You must fly within visual sight. Your drone must be under 55 pounds. Now that is very, very heavy. Most consumer drones are like between one and three pounds. You must never fly near another aircraft. If you're flying within five miles of any airport, you must notify the control tower. And lastly, you must never fly near emergency response efforts. Now for the commercial flyers. You must hold a remote pilot's license issued by the FAA. You must register your drone with the FAA Drone Zone website. Again, I'll link it below. Your drone must be under 55 pounds. You must fly in Class G airspace. You must fly below 400 feet. You must fly during the day or at civil twilight, which is 30 minutes after sunset. You must fly under 100 miles per hour. What drone goes 100 miles per hour? I barely drive at 100 miles per hour. You must yield the right away to any manned aircraft. You can't fly over people. And lastly, you cannot fly from a moving vehicle unless you're in a lightly populated area, which I'm guessing is like farmland. Now these eight things, you can actually get a waiver from the FAA to avoid them, but you must go through the legal process. Now that we got the federal laws out of the way, which are countrywide, remember, you always have to abide by these rules. Here are the state and local laws. It is currently a misdemeanor to interfere with first responders during an emergency. Also, if a first responder breaks your drone, uh, they get immunity. Perks of the job. When I read such specific laws like this, you know someone sued someone, so they had to make a law about it. Anyways, I digress. It is also illegal to record someone who has a reasonable expectation of privacy. Now, if you're looking to fly your drone in one of California's nine national parks, if you can't, it's prohibited. Now for the city laws. In the city of Yorba Linda, you are prohibited from taking off within 25 feet of a person, outside of visual sight, on someone else's private property, and within 500 feet of any special event or emergency response. In the city of Calabasas, you are not allowed to fly within 200 feet of any school, or public event, and within 100 feet of any public building or facility without prior consent. So it's not legal, you just have to notify them beforehand. In Hermosa Beach, you have to get an operating permit and an ID number from the local police before you take flight. Now, every law that I just mentioned is linked below. Thank you for watching. Make sure to fly safely, and if you have any additional questions, just ask. I'll see you next time.